When I heard that Ferris Wheel Press was making an ink inspired by Chateau Frontenac in Old Quebec, I knew I had to have it. Now, I was surprised that there were very few mentions of Frontenac and only a tiny little image of it on the side. But I saw this as an opportunity to see if I could tie this ink into this magical place in this incredible city and also take an opportunity to talk about Ferris Wheel Press and their beautiful yet incredibly poorly designed bottles so we can go through it all. So join me, won't you, as we discover Frontenac Blue from Ferris Wheel Press. First, let's set our scene. Chateau Frontenac sits high atop a promontory at the eastern side of the upper city, overlooking the frozen banks of the mighty St. Lawrence River. Chateau Frontenac commands its location. It's part fortress and part fairy tale castle, with a central imposing tower that was inspired by the 14th century architecture of France's Loire Valley. It also has this delightful asymmetry, giving it an even more eclectic form, rising from its topography with its precipitous roofs of copper and its circular turrets and stylized gables, as if it has always been there. Looking at the structure now, it is certainly inspired by French architecture, but isn't it also a little bit Victorian and a little Gothic? Absolutely. It's distilled from all of these into something wonderfully unique and very Quebecois. Ferris Wheel Press describes Frontenac Blue Ink as an icy teal blue with blue shimmer. Before we unveil this ink, let's talk a little bit about the box and the bottle and some of the issues there. Ferris Wheel Press's boxes have the loveliest graphics, but they're not always the easiest to open. If you want to preserve the integrity of the box, do what I do and stick a flat object under the flap. Something like an elegant pocket knife. Lay it in there flat and then give it a little twist. It'll lift up that flap and you'll be able to open the box easily without tearing and destroying this beautiful graphic presentation. Now it's time to remove the bottle. That magical perfume genie-like bottle. It glistens with gold lettering and is topped by a nut-shaped cap in a tone of brass. Already you see a problem here. This is an elongated high glass bottle on a narrow flat base, and it's capped with a heavy piece of metal. Could it be more wobbly or top heavy? So be very, very careful, especially with removing the cap. You do not want to tip this ink over. So now you see there's that piece of silicon that's stuck on top of the bottle. Hold on to this. This is very important. I used to throw this away all the time and then wonder why my bottles leaked. There are no instructions anywhere on the box or bottle that tells you that you need to hold on to this little seal. But what you need to do is to place that firmly inside the cap to prevent leaking. And this is even more important, considering that this is a shimmer ink. So you will be shaking this all the time to get an even distribution of all that magical shimmery goodness. So if your Ferris Wheel Press caps are leaking now, this is the whole reason why. So now you can see another issue with this bottle. The throat 
of the bottle is very narrow. It's not easy to get a pen in there, especially a thicker pen. So be very, very cautious. These bottles are unstable. It's very easy to topple them over. So be careful. Chateau Frontenac rises 18 stories and up to 80 meters, and it has 610 rooms. It's operated by Fairmount now, and they have been giving the hotel the respect and upkeep it deserves. It was designed by New York City architect Bruce Price. It was originally opened in 1893 as a hub for the Canadian Pacific Railway passengers. Its central tower, perhaps its most impressive feature, celebrates its 100-year anniversary in 2024. The hotel is thought to be one of the most photographed in the entire world, and it's on the list of National Historic Sites for Canada. Ferris wheel presses Frontenac Blue is a lovely teal blue. It's like the cast of the twilight as the sky cools over the plains of Abraham. The blue shimmer is like the faceted edges of the frost reflecting off the sun as it settles into the sky. It is a very cool teal blue. Now, personally, I don't know if I would have used teal to tie it into Chateau Frontenac. Now, I do see it as a cooler color, and I can see how it resembles some of the quality of light that you get and the way the shadows seem to stretch and that beautiful color that's within those shadows as they grow longer. It's also a bit like the color of the moonlight as it filters through the sky. So there are ways to tie it in with Chateau Frontenac, but for me, I think I would go with a deeper blue. But nevertheless, I can see how it does with teal, tie it in with the St. Lawrence River. The river is always there. It's just absolutely magnificent. Also, the blue shimmer gives some sense of the frost that's often on the ground or on the river. And as the sun hits the faceted edges of the frost, it shimmers in a really gorgeous icy blue. So I can see how that ties in with the whole theme of this frozen magical city. I stay at this hotel every time I visit Old Quebec, which is often, and I prefer to stay in the colder months when it's quiet, when it's romantic, when the snow drifts down lazily, when you can walk around snuggled arm in arm and go from one snug place to another, to warm ourselves by a beautiful fire, to explore this magical city and this incredible hotel. I love the bakeries and the bookshops, the squares and the libraries. In the lower city, Les Petits Champlain is a personal favorite. And in the winter time and close and around Christmas, you feel as if you are strolling in a snow globe. Old Quebec is the only city in North America that's still surrounded by defensive walls and ramparts. Yet, it's very welcoming. For me, it's like a second home, and I miss it when I'm away, and I find myself pining for it. To stay at Chateau Frontenac once again, along the icy banks of the mighty St. Lawrence.
So I think sometimes the issue with Ferris wheel press inks is that they're so pretty, they're so light, they're so magical that they're just not really usable. And you feel more like you might want to draw with them or do art rather than serious writing. This ink fortunately has some really darker tones with a lot of contrast that makes it very usable and very workable as a writing ink. I like this color, I feel like I will use it, and I'll think about Chateau Frontenac when I do. I definitely love those kind of associations. And certainly if any brand ever wants me to address an ink or anything else, you just need to name it after something I love and I'll be interested. So Chateau Frontenac is just so close to my heart. I was just there, had a wonderful time. It's very special to me and my family. So I know it's a place I will always go and having this ink with this name it just it feels very special to me so what do you think about ferris wheel presses frontenac blue is this a color you might try what do you think of chateau frontenac do you think it's as magical as i do what do you think of their bottles do you think they're as wacky and poorly designed as i do let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you so if you've made it to this point in the video, please subscribe. I'd love to have you on this journey with us. And as you can see, we go to some amazing places. And if you want to support the channel even more, consider becoming a member. There's a lot of fun going on behind the scenes and I'd love to have you there. So I make new videos all the time and I have a live show each Tuesday night at 8 p.m. So I can promise you, we will see each other again very soon further up the road. So take care of yourself.